If you are an aspiring digital marketer or an aspiring social media manager, this is something you need to know. Now, if you're not concerned about growth, ignore this video. If you don't want your page to grow, ignore this video, skip to the next one. Your social media calendar may be completely unnecessary and this is why. If you manage any social media page and you want to make good content, before you think of creating any social media calendar, watch this video. What is a social media calendar? A social media calendar is a calendar that contains the kind of posts you want to post on an account for a month. For example, if in a week I want to post that, okay, Monday, probably happy birthday post for the CEO, Tuesday, a, a fact, Wednesday, Thursday, that list, that outline showing the post that I plan or schedule for a month for a social media account. That's what we call a social media calendar. And sometimes so people are just too stiff and they make calendars that contain contents that don't fly. They don't even go back to check the analysis to see if people enjoy their content. They just want to just post what is on their calendar. What I'm trying to do in this video is to make sure that you don't make any terrible social media calendar that will lead to contents that will convert or engage your audience. This one thing is what you must do before you think of or dream of or start making any social media calendar. <laughs> The one thing you must do is research. That research is important. So if your social media strategy is on auto-tune, is on autopilot, that you are doing anything, it means that you don't know how to read data or you don't even know that data is speaking to you. When you make a post, there's something called insights that shows you how your post performed, that shows you how your post reached people, that shows you how people engage with your posts, that shows you how many people shared your post. So that insight is what you need to study before you work on any new social media calendar. You need to go back to your post to see how your posts in the past have been performing. You need to go back to your insights to see how your previous posts have been performing so that you can understand and strike out the posts that do not work. If you have a particular kind of post or style of post that is not having as much views or engagement or reach and you keep making that kind of post, it means that you're either stubborn, ignorant, or you don't know what to do. So before you think of doing the next social media calendar, you need to do research. Let me tell you where to go to. That insight in your app is really, really important. Now, depending on the platform you're looking at, is either it's called insights or analytics. That way, it's going to show you how your previous post, your account has been performing over time. How many people you reached, how many people interacted with your content, what posts got the highest likes, and so on and so forth. You need to go back and look at the dashboard and study to understand that, okay, this is what is working. This one, people don't like it. Or this one, the algorithm doesn't like it. When you see that it doesn't have as much reach and it's consistent for a period of time. This one, okay, this is a waste of resources and time and energy. Let me strike this out. Let me, let me start feeding my audience. I believe that digital marketing is like the work of a doctor where if you have an unknown disease and you have speculations, okay, it could be this. Let me give this medicine. And you, the doctors who want to look back and see how the medicine is performing, whether it's combating the disease or the sickness as much as expected. If it is dealing with the sickness, we'll keep using the medicine or using the medication and looking out for side effects. That's exactly how digital marketing is meant to be. You need to just try things out. I'm not saying be too random, but try things out. Test this kind of post. See how your audience receives it, whether they like it. If they like it, feed them, feed them, feed them, feed them, feed them with that kind of post. If you see that, okay, this kind of post, they're not liking it, they are doing unawares for you. They are ignoring that kind of post. There's no point in making that kind of post that people are ignoring. So you need to feed your audience with the kind of contents that they like. Something I've learned over the years of doing content marketing over the past seven years, going to eight years now, is the fact that what you think is right may not be right. What you like may not be what your audience like. What you think they will need may not be what they need. And that reminds me of my wonderful dogs. Any dog owner knows this thing. That if you go and buy canned food or if you buy crunches, you know, those dog feed and you buy too much of it without checking if your dog likes it or not, you're a newbie, you don't know what you're doing because your dog will shock you. They won't eat it and it will waste. The same thing with making content. You can't just batch create nonsense. You have to create small, small, small when you're starting out to understand what your audience will like so you can strike out some things and you can amplify some things. This thing is part of the research I'm talking about and if you notice that you've not been doing the research, that should explain to you why your posts are not reaching a lot of people. Most of my posts on my pages that I do not pay attention to bring traction to me. I get calls, messages from my business page, for example, when I repair gadgets. It's because each post there is strategic. As natural, as simple, as easy as those my content look like, they are specifically made to receive feedback. So, social media managers, this is the end of a month at the time of this recording. So I'm sure that maybe they are putting pressure on you to make your calendar. You can start initiating this for this coming month or you can look at it in the future. 
before you make any social media content calendar go to your analytics go and make your research understand your audience first and that's the only way you can make content that they're going to like or that is going to be helpful to them you want to make content that they will watch and come back to and share with their friends if you want to do that you need to understand your users know what they like and go back to your data. Your data is talking to you. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Tomoa and I'm the KBAC of Digital Marketing.